This is Mike Glossy and Nicole Strong. Together they have over 35 years of experience as OSU Extension Foresters. Let's join them for a day in the woods. America uses a lot of wood. Wood for homes, paper, all sorts of things. And a large proportion of that wood comes from Oregon's forests. But Oregon's forests provide much more than wood products. Clean water, fresh air, fish and wildlife habitat, recreation, and more. Oregonians realized long ago that in order to protect these benefits and produce a sustainable source of wood products, they needed a set of guidelines for those working in the forest. In 1971, the Oregon Legislature passed the Oregon Forest Practices Act. The Oregon Board of Forestry, appointed by the governor, oversees implementation of the laws and rules. So is the forestry sector still following a 40-year-old set of laws? Hardly. Oregon forest practices laws have changed more than three dozen times over the past few decades based on the latest science and professional experience. The forest laws continue to evolve as we learn more about forestry's effects on wildlife habitat and drinking water. The laws are embraced by forest landowners as a partnership that ensures long-term forest stewardship and sustainability. Everyone wants Oregon to have great forests for all of our environmental, social, and economic needs. Learn more about Oregon's sustainable forest practices at OregonForestLaws.org. So how else are we sustaining Oregon's forest? Come on, we'll show you. 